Hello, I'm here to talk about a net galley book that I just finished and it's The Fell by Sarah Moss. Now this excited me to read it because I've not read uh, a, a novel that is set in the times that we're living in at the moment. This is set in November 2020 when we are in the second lockdown and there's the uncertainty about, you know, will this ever end? And it's set in on the fells and we focus on four characters um, Kate and her son Matt Alice and Rob and Kate is a single mum she's a waitress and Matt is her teenage son and they have both been forced to to go into a 14-day quarantine because Kate has been in contact with somebody who's got Covid and we have the perspective, we have four perspectives. We have this percep Kate's perspective, Matt's, Alice, who's the neighbour, and then Rob. So you've got four different narrators, four different thought processes. And Kate is finding the isolation claustrophobic. She's someone who is an outdoorsy person. She is always up on the fells. And to be confined to the house, it is affecting her, her mental, it's affecting her mental state. Being unable to get out of the house, being able to just walk to the, into the garden and back into the house again, she, she just cannot cope with it. And so one day she decides, I said, I know it's wrong, I've got to go. And she decides, I'm, it's nearly dusk, I'm going to go up on the fells. I'm not going to meet anybody. I'm, I'm not, the chances of meeting anybody are that tiny. So she goes up on the fells and she doesn't tell her son where she's going. But Alice, her neighbour, sees her. And, of course, something happens on the fells. And so we have Matt's perspective when... As a teenage boy, you know, Mum, where are you? And you get his anxiety because he's home alone. He doesn't know where Mum is. He's got this anxiety, should he report her missing? Because he knows that if she has gone out, then she's at risk of have being fined for breaking the law. And... They can't afford it. He knows what is the financial situation for the family is. So does he even report his mum missing because of the repercussions there? And what will people in the village think of her because she has broken curfew? And you've got his thoughts, that the, the, everything that's running around the head of a teenage boy who's anxious because his mum's come home and anxious about the repercussions. And then... You've got the neighbour, Alice, who's an elderly lady who's a vulnerable person, so she's having to shield. And you've got her thought processes as well. Um, she has a dinner with her daughter and her family over Zoom, so they're sitting at... She's sitting at her dining table with her dinner while her family are sitting at their dining tables with their dinner miles away on Zoom, so they're having dinner via Zoom. And it's the the daughter questioning the mother, you know, are you doing this right? Are you doing this right? And she, Alice mentions that she spotted Kate wandering up the fells and you ought to report her mother, she shouldn't be doing that. And she, she gets your shopping for you. And if she's isolated, how is she getting your shopping for you? And it's, it's the, the human, effect it's it, sorry not the human effect the effect on the people of of lockdown they i think there are lots of covid novels about but it, it deals with the pandemic and stuff like that as other than the and the plague but this one it focuses on the cost to the mental state what people are going through what they are experiencing and it is really really engrossing it's a short novel it's a, a novella 
and the time period is less than 24 hours. And it is thoroughly engrossing. And it, you see things that we all experience that are, are not even a year old, you know, talking about people who, who disinfect you know, when shopping and they're, they're spraying the vegetables with disinfectant and wiping them down. And, and there's Matt there t talking to Alice and don't come near me, don't come near me. Don't, don't come down to, to talk to me, talk to me through the window. And, and the need for human contact that, that was lost for that time, for that, that period, the need for human contact that we all need. And it is a really, really thought-provoking novel. And that is The Fell by Sarah Moss. And I loved it. So that was that one. Happy reading. Take care and bye.